how important are solving these problems to your country's economic future? Pardon me? How important are solving these problems to your economic future? It's very important because... Uh, that prosperity for the region does depend on being at peace, not at war, but certainly there are other major issues and challenges. Let's talk about job creation and poverty in the region. Business, in addition to getting jobs, are there some interesting efforts underway there? Yeah. So that's been the right way to go. I've just uh, answered your question earlier, but uh, uh, all the applicants at the same time, government sector, and all those, uh, you see, private sector banks which were making huge profits before nationalization went into heavy losses. And then uh, after... To the uh, East Asia is uh, so important. The World Bank says the region needs to spend as much as $2.5 with a T, on infrastructure by 2020 to have enough power, water, and roads to serve its population. What's got to happen to fill that gap? So I'd like to uh, mention that... Being fast enough to be able to fill the gap in, in your own country? Well, we have, uh, <clears throat> when you talk about connectivity, we have embarked upon uh, some major mega projects uh, in our region that will harness the markets and resources of our adjoining regions. And uh, we, uh, to quote uh, a few, of course, uh, TAPI, which is Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, is a gas pipeline which is now being laid from Turkmenistan right up to India, it will pass uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I really want to thank the unity, the Global Peace and Unity Organization to get me here. Give me about 15 minutes to talk to you. The most important thing the point I want to make tonight is this, that it is extremely important for Muslims to be able to convey to people living in Western countries that there is no correlation between Islam and terrorism. Unfortunately, through a planned campaign, Islam and terrorism have been linked and 1.3 billion Muslims are on the back foot on the defensive trying to justify that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism and what the point you need to make is this that according to the Holy Quran 124,000 messengers of God were sent on earth all of them with one message and the message was that the Almighty wanted us to be human beings rather than intelligent animals. Animals believe in might is right, survival of the fittest, whereas human beings believe 